Hey, it's Gary Delabate, Baba Booey. On Tuesday's wrap-up show, we started by talking about Marty the Midget. We're not allowed to call him a midget anymore. But that sort of morphed into a conversation where JD came in, and we talked about Marty trying to give him advice on how to get chicks, and then Jason jumped in, and it turned into this crazy fight that I was unaware of this bad blood that was going around. So here's a wrap-up show with JD and Jason fight. Let's get back to uh, Marty. After, I mean, we talked about Gorilla a little bit, but later, I mean, Marty's always been about confidence. And he said that's sort of like how he succeeds with the ladies and this and that. And then I don't know where it came from. Maybe Howard said it that, you know, he can give JD some advice. And JD seemed very upset at getting any advice from Marty. Why do you think that is, Gary? And then we'll have JD weigh on that. Well, th- I'd like to, why JD? I don't I have no idea. Like, why wouldn't you take advice from, from a guy who's had success? No, hold on. It was. Uh, I can't hear anything. I just have phones. Anyway. I don't care. I'll turn no, up the, vi- the headphone volume. Uh, hold on. Um, uh, no, it wasn't about getting advice. It was just like, uh, where, it, where did this come from? All of a sudden, it was like, a, you know, I, 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 I got. It. I can tell you where it came from. <laughs> Go ahead. It, 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 Marty is a guy who's had to overcome something. Yes, in his case, it's his height. In your case, it's your shyness. Uh, yeah. So he's saying, like, here's a guy who's had to overcome something. This is how he exudes confidence. Okay. Uh, listen, I and I've been around little people. I, me and Teddy hung around this little guy. Uh, Some of my best know. friends. The guy from, uh, from, uh, from Beaches, yeah, Beaches. And he was banging. He banged a girl right in the middle of a dance floor. So, uh, you know, I know that uh, some girls, uh, you know, they, 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 oh, sorry, Ted. Um, they, they uh, I don't know. They, they go for it. I don't know. But uh, it wasn't about getting advice from him until he started making fun of how I look and telling me to shave and fucking do this and that. That was excellent advice. Uh, I don't give a shit what you think, Jason. Oh, okay. So, uh, so yeah, that was basically it. Do you think... But what, what, I was like, were you like, who the fuck is Marty to give me advice? No, it was more like... No, that that no, that no wasn't that at all. It was when he stu- when I, I just walk in within two seconds and he tells me, shave my 70s <laughs> beard and whatever. But that's advice. But, but Garrett... No, he's it's, not it's, 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 it's making fun of how I look. He's not blind. What were you going to say, Ben? Well, JD's not looking for... It's Howard saying, hey, let me bring in a loser... And you can tell him, you know, how how to be better. Oh, yeah. And JD's not like I don't think JD's JD no. jokes around. But is JD a loser? Or does he have trouble? I getting disagree laid? with you. We had a guy on the air that said, "Hey, I get laid on a regular basis." And to add to that, he gets laid on a regular basis, and he has a major handicap, if you will, to overcome. He wasn't saying that JD was a loser. He was saying that JD it was very hook condescending. Up with he was assuming that well, JD's horrible with chicks, and JD's not horrible with chicks. Well, really? JD JD says he doesn't get as many chicks as he'd like to get, and here's a guy that seems to get as many as he wants. Right. That's what I got. I don't know. It's always annoying when you're not looking for advice, I think, and someone gives you advice. Well, that's because we give you a lot of advice. <laughs> but, JD, that we think you need. Do you think you lack confidence when it comes to this kind of stuff? I know sure, you're different uh, online yeah, than in listen, person. Uh, of course. But, you know, uh, yeah. Do you uh, think you need to wash your hair? or? You I wash my hair, oh. fuckhead. Oh, hey, don't that. <laughs> Marty's the one that pointed it out. Pantene. Yeah, I know I know exactly what you were doing. <laughs> Gary, JD wants to punch Jason right now. I don't know <laughs> yeah. if you can tell. This is, is, this, is there more hostility than today that I, I mean, don't it know just, about? It's always like this. It's always like this with him. But it's always like this with Will. You, you don't want to punch Will. <laughs> no, listen. Okay. Will does not miss a moment to make a fat joke, I know. whether we're right, on listen. the air, in okay. the hallway, or near the bathroom. Yeah, JD okay. doesn't like me. Uh, yeah, I don't like someone seeking attention and seeking making fun of me by getting his attention. But that's what Will does. No, he does. No, he doesn't. He does. It's more behind the scenes. He Dude, it, they it's made all... a whole Howard TV show about Will fucking around with him. Uh, okay. So don't tell me it's not and by, and by the way, and by the way, that's always been my history with Will. That's always been like when I was an intern, he busted my balls like that. That necessarily wasn't a fact with Jason. And then all of a sudden, you know, he sees, uh, I, I don't know what's going on. So J- Jason hasn't earned the right to fuck with you the way I, Will I, does. No, it has no, nothing no, no. to do with earn the right. I, I, I don't know what it is. It was like today, like I was sitting here first and then JD walked in and then somehow me making fun of him is for me trying to get attention for myself. What? I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're fucking trying to say. <laughs> Go ahead. That what? beard is hiding all your chin, so maybe you shouldn't shave it. Oh. Go fuck yourself. See, the other... <laughs> JD, wait, JD, only. JD, JD, only. JD, only. JD, only. I want to explain on. something. The other thing, Gary... Right, I don't want to hear this. Well, I don't want to hear this. You realize he did. I want to go fucking... T- I'd rather talk to the pace. Hold on. Let me make an analogy here. Earlier in the show, we were talking about how Eric the Midget gets under... Sorry, Eric the Actor gets under Gary's skin no matter what he does because he sort of enjoys upsetting Gary and Gary plays right into it. 
With this, I think it's very similar. Jason knows exactly what he's doing when he's making these comments. Yeah, he does it with talking. everyone. He no, does no, it with no, everyone. No, 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 he does. But, but you're he does it with everyone. But you're showing, yeah, if he sees, but you're oh, showing no, 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 that it done. bothers you, no, and done. that's why he keeps doing it. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. By the way, but, I, but he does it with everyone. Right. Yeah, if, if there's anyone uh, he, he does it with, I don't know. And I disagree with what you said. What? Eric doesn't know he's fucking with me to get under my skin. He's just a dick. Whereas Jason knows, and yeah, Jason's it, it, fucking with Jason's fucking with him to some degree. Well, he's still totally he's still, with him to every he's still be, Jason's still being a dick, but he's being a fun loving dick. Listen, well, people make fat jokes about me all the time here. I don't fucking go storming out of rooms like a baby. Well, okay, now I'm a fucking oh. baby. <laughs> See, mm-hmm. Nate, it's always like this. Yeah, because you're, you're better than me, Jason. Way. I get it. Okay, you think you're better than me. It's okay. No, no, you think you're better than no, me. No, 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 no. No, I don't. You, oh, no, I oh, don't. How come I keep losing to Jason and all the F Mary kills? That's bullshit. Blah blah blah. Yeah, because you think you're better than me. I don't think. Okay, I <laughs> say it. Say it. No, come on, I'm bad. uglier than you. I'm fatter than you, and you don't understand why chicks. In a make-believe game, truth to sleep with me. Well, there, there is part of that, but it <laughs> happened to be every single time, and yeah. it was annoying me. Get over it. <laughs> I'm better than you. Wow. <laughs> You're a bigger douchebag than me, I'll tell you that. Well, uh, according to you. Can you give an objective? No, according to fucking everyone. Aww. Can you give an objective view here as to what's going on between these two? I mean, you and I have noticed this thing bubbling for months. Yeah, no, they don't like each other. And it no. wasn't I think always JD that way. is really irritated by Jason and... I don't really care. No, but, 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 I, but I don't like, by the way, that that Jason, the, the relationship that JD and I have no, is I didn't the say exact the re- same as Jason. I didn't say the I, relationship. That, not. That's what I'm trying to get to. I didn't say the relationship was the same. I'm saying you poke fun at JD a lot. And that, at times, he, yeah. And he doesn't seem to mind. Well, yeah, because I, I do, think... It, and I do mind. He does mind sometimes, <laughs> and I... have Stopped a lot of what I was but doing. You, I mean, on you, the make, basis. you make fat jokes about him <laughs> right. all the time. You make fat jokes about him. But if Jason were to make a fat joke, which that I would piss, that would piss him off, and he stormed out of the room. Well, Listen, you know, what? also, think... also, a lot of it is Will will make the joke, and then Jason makes the joke like right after. It. Well, what about it's right like, now? Hold on, exactly. It's like when Howard says something, and then Robin is like, you know, uh, the the side, uh, you know, that the whatever she is, I don't know what, you know, like the 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 friend that the. If Ooh, Jason, I bet the pace can't wait for this talk. If Jason now. fed Will the fat joke and Will delivered it, <laughs> would it be cool? I don't know. But, but the, I, people can say get away with different things with different That's people. Right. I get know, it. JD I, and I have a pretty good friendship. Will, I get it. I just right. wanted him to say that. Oh, all right, I was waiting. For, I was waiting for for yeah. JD to say because I like Will and I don't, I don't like, like Jason. Jason. See right, the other exactly. thing that's playing that that's coming. That's the in, answer. He's just not being honest. The other thing that's coming into play no, here. I'm not honest. I'm a baby and I'm not honest. Go ahead. <laughs> but would that be go fair? the names, Jason? You well, see the what? You see why I don't want to do the name? But would it be fair to say that you will take it? Hold on. Every time. Every time. And that's fucking last. Go ahead. The other yeah. thing that comes into play here is that Jason can't wait for these clips to be played. Hold tomorrow. on, hold on. Well, we'll get there. But I think the other thing that comes into play here is that Jason can't Jason... wait to come in tomorrow morning and listen to himself I'm laughing sorry. at me. I'm sorry. You, JD doesn't like it. Att- he didn't just go through a whole weekend of headlining shows with Shuli all over I the place. I was asked to do he it, fuckhead. Oh, you, you don't have the ability to say no? Clearly I did you say love no. I, I, no, listen, clearly it was you good money. And it was good money. Everybody. And it was good money. Oh, every morning when John plays clips from the rap show, there aren't 90% JD clips. I mean, don't act like I'm trying to get on the air and you're not, I, I, <laughs> Mr. Headliner Act. Okay. The other thing that <laughs> comes if you in- saw like the actual show you saw, I was barely even on the stage. But go ahead. Well, you were still the headliner. Sure, that's what that's how was going cry, around. I never call it. myself a headliner. But, for somebody who doesn't want any attention, you I sure go on stage. A headliner. Okay. Hey, keep going on stage. All right, keep, you don't okay. want any attention. Now, now I'm a double. Now I'm a yeah, yeah. Fucking... No, go hang out with Ryan Felipe and come back and tell us about it and <laughs> exploit your on-air <laughs> sex stories and you know a- anything you do. Yeah, you you're the time. one that keeps putting up fucking notes about me. <laughs> well, so does everybody, and you put okay. up notes about exactly me. everyone, everyone yeah. but you. Go ahead, everyone but me. Oh what? no, you do put up notes about yourself. You do go to the news story to talk about how you jerk off and fucking shower. Will t- that's t- not t- Gary turned me in on that story. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is your problem? You, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I had no idea. Oh. I gotta tell you, I had no idea. I don't know where the fuck I've been because clearly everyone in this room knew this was brewing. Oh well, yeah, it's been going on for a while. Off in the shower? <laughs> the other no, thing, which I've been right, trying to say, know. that comes into play here, Gary, is I think deep down, Jason is very hurt by this. I think he feels, you know, J. He knows. I would never say anything like that. Well, but hurt, yeah. hurt. In what respect? I think he's hurt that JD is is so pissed at him and and doesn't like him. And I think that this is the way Jason sort of gets that out. I know Jason is ball busting. He enjoys that more than anything. But deep down, Jason, correct me if I'm wrong, JD was a very close friend to him. And now it's this the is, reverse. This has been going on for years, and it's and I I told JD this. I said it's my you know it's my fault. I 
had a friendship in my head that didn't exist in real life. I felt that I liked him more than he liked me, I guess. I don't know. And I would get frustrated by the fact that I couldn't joke around with him like I could joke around with other people. And then it just hit me. It's, it's my problem. It's not his. He, we're not as friends. I mean, you know, that's just not good friends anyway. But did, that sounds a lot like the Will Jason. I was going to say that. That sounds exactly it's like a pretty, the Will. It's a pretty thing. similar situation. Will you draw? What? No, it's not. Why not? Well, no, it is. When 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 you guys were roommates and you weren't, Jason <laughs> thought you guys were way better friends than it turned out you were. Now you are. But at the time, you were like, "Yeah, we live together." He's not my best friend. Yeah, there was a period of time where he irritated the shit out of me. <laughs> Literally everything he said drove me fucking nuts. And I think JD is going through that period right now. <laughs> I could see JD's just stewing, and and I just I just I don't like I I what I don't know I just don't know I just did not I do not like confrontation and arguing and whatever, <laughs> and, uh, you know. But you have an opinion. But you do have an opinion, and you are upset, yes. so you should be allowed to express uh, it. Uh, whatever. I mean, I no. I listen. I don't like to rock the vote around here. I don't like to cause you know uh, uh, problems or whatever. So, you know, I just keep, I, you know, I just want to keep the machine moving fine. What I'm getting from you, though, is you didn't rock the boat. Somebody was rocking your boat and you got sick of it. Uh, no, I mean, well, now, I mean, now, what, now it's going to cause the whole, you know, more fucking bullshit or whatever. I'd rather, you know, to take it and not, and not deal with it than <laughs> to have to deal with it and then have it fucking be this big thing. So why was today different? I don't know. It, 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 it's, it just, I don't know how it got brought up, but it got brought up. <laughs> Grant in Toronto, you're on the wrap up show. Hey, guys. Hey, uh, Grant. I'm in, hey, uh, love the show. I'm in CD's camp and I'm frustrated for him. And uh, I think the problem with JD is his upbringing, <laughs> uh, with his uh, dysfunctional family. Mm -hmm. so I think that's the root of probably his problem. And uh, I think Jason, I just, uh, I don't know how it. <laughs> This is my opinion. I love the show, but I don't like Jason. I, I think he's living in the closet. I think mm -hmm. he's got big issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think JD's the man. So, I don't know. Do you think Jason's, uh, do you think he's living in the closet, guys? No. I, re I don't. I mean, I talk to him all the time. I mean, you wouldn't fit in a closet. <laughs> oh, I mean, dude, I'm leaving. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I mean, I thought there's a, a baby. There's a bunch of things you could say about Jason. Great if I call me a baby again, Jason. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Jerry in Tampa, you're on the wrap up show. I'll wait for you to cry. What are you look for? Hey Jerry. Hey, uh hey, does anybody is it me or does does Jason sound like Fozzie Bear? Oh, I definitely think I sound like Fozzie Bear. I hate my voice. And uh, I oh, look okay. I look like him too. Uh, trust me. It's a it, it's a compare that and Grimace are the two comparisons I hate uh the most because they're true. And there's nothing oh, I can say ahead. about them. <laughs> Well, you're still in there. I thought you left. Here's what I got to say. No, you're an no. He ain't going anywhere. What's up? You're an, you're an instigating motherfucker is what your problem is. <laughs> Some and, I, and, I, and I hope that one day you choke on a fucking hammer on this stupid show you and John Hine do. Hey, easy there, Jerry. John got trapped. Uh, no, Listen. It's, easy. No, it's, it's a stupid show. Trust me. All right, thank you, Jerry. For so I'm that an instigator, out. but this guy hopes I die on a fucking hamburger. Listen, if I'm going to go... Uh, dying on the cheeseburger is on the hey, list. Can I ask Jason a question? <laughs> Make sure you do it on our stupid show, Jason. <laughs> Jason, you, you definitely grew up on the show. There's oh, no my doubt. God. We, we talk about it all the time. Oh, like, my Jason, God. Jason, I was talking about this with Johnny. Like, he was raised, his formative years were li spent listening to the show. All my years. So do you see, do you sometimes see it as almost like your duty to fill the the the, uh, the, the role left by the stuttering John no, role? what I find... That I think I have a different take on this stuff than other people do is that I, I just find enjoyment in it. I don't go out of my way to say, oh, I'm going to fuck with somebody today to, to rile things up. But when things like this do happen, even with this thing with me and JD, which is real and it's going to be awkward once we're off the air. But I see the fun in it. I see the excitement in it. it, it, it I, you know, they, they have a new Howard behind the scenes show coming out where they talk about throwing people under the bus. And I, I, I always compare... How I feel to uh, Boston Rob on Survivor, that first season he was on, where he was lying to everybody, and he turns around like, guys, we're playing a game here. Like, what the fuck? We're playing yeah, a game. but what's the game? The game is that we're doing an entertainment show, and this is part of what comes working here. And trust me, I take my own lumps a ton. I get called a ton of names. I get, in a, I hold my own in arguments. I don't go running behind anyone's back and trying to get somebody. Listen, I, I, I get a ton of shrapnel around here, and uh, I feel I handle it well for myself, and I certainly don't see why everyone gets all bent out of shape. I mean, what, what are we doing here? 
We work back here. We all know what the show is. The show's been on for 30 years. This, this is what happens. Shit happens in the office and it gets on the air. I, 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 I don't see anything wrong with it. It's, it's what, what we're doing here. I, I always tell people when they are contemplating having some kind of uh, uh, issue with Jason, <laughs> they should always always think twice because he will always have the last word. And you got to really... Say to yourself, is it worth going down this road? Because it's it's going to bring on a lot more trouble than it's worth. But I'm I think, glad I people. want people to get to my very large, wide road and hesitate putting a foot on it. I, I, I love that. Here's my thing with Jace. You seem to me, and I've said it before, you seem to get joy out of hurting people. It's not just a joke. It's like, I want to hurt this person. And maybe, maybe, uh, and maybe some people are more charming about the way they do it. Maybe they do the same thing. I, I don't know. When I that's... feel personally attacked, like when I got in a fight with Ross Zapin or when I got in a fight with Scott DePace, yeah. I, I mean, once, once we started going down that road where things were getting personal, yeah. I wasn't going to I, I would have I would have ripped their throats as if I could have. I, I, I will go for the killer. It's just shit with me and JD. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you say making fun of his chins and his beard is, is hitting below the belt, fine. But I just don't see it that way. And, and Benji, you're not really a good indication because I would say of anybody on the show, Benji's the last person that will ever come to me and say, "Did you see what so and so was wearing?" or "Did you hear this about so and so?" You you're you never do that. I tend not to. You should do I... it more because that's what we do. Yeah, right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, but do no, but, you, but ben, it's just not Benji's thing. Well, look how many chins this guy has. You can't. See, He's got that work. horrible beard over it. Didn't See, work. now we're working. So this will make things very comfortable in the back office. Although, frankly, Will, this has been going on for months. This is years, nothing maybe. new. Yeah, this isn't new. Yeah. I don't think years. No. JD, it, it has hasn't been, going on, been going on for years. How come you guys didn't tell me this? Because, you know what? I'll tell you. JD, you can speak for yourself, obviously. But I would say from my perspective, I like I said earlier in the show, I denied it for years. Like I'm just like, oh, you know, JD's just in a bad mood. Or, oh, he's just pissy with me today. Or, oh, whatever. So I, and then, you know, and then recently I just... Well, Woke up to the fact that no, you know, just everything I say pisses them off, and that's just the end of it. There are lots of relationships that <laughs> swirl in the back right, office right. that are not concrete enough to say, okay, this is A, B, and C, and why they don't le- like each other. Just feelings that come and go, right, right. and sometimes they swell up and it overflows like you see today. The, there are times where I, where Jason, where I can uh, deal with Jason, where I can, uh, where I, I don't know, I, I can, we can talk or whatever. And, you know, there are more times where it's like how it is today. And that's, you know, just, I just try to be civil. That's all I try to do. Right yeah. Um, see, the only time he, like, J.D. and never, J.D. and I have never gotten in a fight, like, hanging out outside of work, like, at a bar or, or at a party or, or wherever. Like, it, this only happens. I'll tell you exactly. The one, the one time that really broke the, uh, the straw that broke my back was we were in the studio doing a commercial break. And somebody's tooling on JD about something, and he's sitting there, and he's laughing, and blah, blah, blah. And then and then I made a comment, and he fucking just turns stone face, and he storms out into the hall, and I go, I'm like, oh, what the hell? And he's all mad at me. And it's those moments. It's the moments here on the wrap-up show, the moments in the studio, the moments in the hallway where I seem to piss JD off and where he gets super angry about it. This isn't happening, like, at lunch. He, Unless he I don't really, know about it, which is possible. He got really angry when you posted something on Twitter about him oh. stalking that 30 Rock chick. Two, week, two weeks in a row. We have two female <laughs> guests or whatever. Two weeks in a row, he has to go on Twitter and tweet, Oh, JD sounds like a fucking creep again. JD creeping out the guests. Creep, you know, and hashtag creep. It's like, what the <laughs> no, fuck? No, I hashtag the name of the show, the John Hines <laughs> show. But, uh, you, you know, uh, can, can yeah, I think had to hit me with that? <laughs> the most interesting and I have never posted, I've never tweeted, uh, Jason, Jason's on wrap up show talking about bullshit. No one talking, you know, cares about the most interesting part of this whole thing for me <laughs> is that, uh, that the visual of this, what's going on right now, much like Mike and the Mad Dog show. <laughs> although these two guys are five feet apart in direct line of sight, they, they haven't looked at each other in 20 minutes. Yeah, they won't look at each other. <laughs> well, JD's hard to well, see. I'm not looking at anyone. That's when you know you have a good fight. Tim, you're on the wrap up show. JD. Yes. Uh, J.D., if I was there, I'd have your back. I get tired of this fat fuck on the wrap-up show. Here's the problem. Number one, he's a tattletale, little gossiping little bitch. He used to run around with all the women. Robin's little parties. He's just like a bitch. He tells. He hates your celebrity, J.D. He hates the fact that you have more Twitter fans. He hates the fact I that do. you're an a- 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 Apple and, and Howard guys. Uh, he's resentful of Baba Booey's uh, fame. He's, he's a wannabe, and he picks on people, and he talks like he has a fucking cock in his mouth. And I hate hearing him on the fucking radio. And I, if I was there, I'd bitch slap him every time he said the, said the word J.D., and that would be the end of it, J.D. I just wish I could be there. Yeah, man, this guy should be here to hit me for you. Yeah, you yeah. Better believe do it, dude. You're so tough. Uh, 
Yeah, and, come on. Uh, I'm going to quit listening to the wrap up show. Do it. Keep having this fucking orb on there. Hey, Tim, don't take it out on us. <laughs> yeah, what a guy. You know, do. Keep listening. Now, Jason, hey, him, other than sounding like you horn, have a man. penis in your mouth, I currently about, have a penis in my mouth. But That's what about what he said? Is there some type of jealousy in terms of like JD becoming Howard's favorite or, you know, <laughs> Gary's notoriety? Or, Howard's no, the favorite. only thing that he said uh, that, that rang true besides the cock in my mouth was I'm insanely <laughs> jealous of Gary and his career and his uh, outside opportunities. No, I, I no, I, I know. I know, I know that sounds crazy. Uh, trust me, there are other people around here who do shit that I am jealous of and don't think that they deserve some of the things they get. But JD, <laughs> did you is, name them? Do uh, you got another hour on this show? Just did, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> but JD is certainly not one of them. I was, uh, I'm excited for all things JD, and I'm certainly not jealous of uh, his Twitter followers, except for the fact that I would like more Twitter. Do you followers. want to take up bowling? What are you telling me here? <laughs> Go ahead, Will. After they decided not to play beer pong together, did you guys talk that day after that tournament? And have uh, you not talked, after, well, have after you the tournament, since? I was bombed. Yeah, no, we've talked since. Well, the what happened? Oh, yeah. what, I, I don't they know about always, this. So we always throw these beer pong tournaments. It's like an annual event. Right. And they have, they've they been partners for, what, five, six years probably? Every year we've done, done it. it, yeah. And this year they had a dis- they had a conversation where they said we are no longer going to be partners. Well, who, who and that was did, a, a pretty big step. So who decided that they didn't want to be the other's partner? Well, I, it probably started with me, I guess. Uh, first of all, we've sucked in all the tournaments anyway. <laughs> but, we did uh, win one. We did win one. We won one. Yeah. But, uh, and, and, you know, th- that's he started calling me a creep on Twitter or whatever. And I was just like, I, do I really want to play beer pong with someone that's going to fucking go on Twitter and call me a creep and By the way, like can that? we go get this stupid Twitter? I didn't call JD a Hold creep. On, yes, you did. Second, and second, and second after <laughs> after he broke up, I, I didn't say anything to anyone. He's the one going to meetings announcing just, uh, oh, hold on, everyone. Let me make an announcement. <laughs> me and JD are no longer beer pong. That is true. I saw that firsthand. <laughs> I mean, but what I, the fuck was that? I'm waiting lo- for a new story to happen. I would love to know, and you got you to walk me through this, like the whole mechanics of the whole thing. So do you sit him down and say, listen, I don't want to be partners with you? And does he ask why? No, we both sort of. Uh, I think we. I know mutual beer, pong, mutual breakups uh, aren't real things. So I will say JD instigated this. But it, once we announced the beer pond tournament, in my head I was like, I don't think JD and I are going to be uh, partners because we weren't really on each other's favorite list at the moment. And so JD, about three days before the tournament, or maybe a week before JD came into the office, he's like, "Let's talk about beer pond." I go, yeah, and he goes, "Yeah." So the team, I'm like, "Yeah," and I, I, I don't know who said it first. JD certainly instigated it, but it was definitely, it wasn't a long conversation. Jim and Carolina, <laughs> you're on the wrap-up show. You know, JD, you've been at in like a like an eight-year-old baby lately, man. Where do you think you work? Huh? Thank you. Where do you uh, think I'm you a work? Ba- go, okay. I know where I fucking work, dickhead. <laughs> well, fuck? let, me ask every, let me ask everybody else a question. Do you think there's a possibility that JD, if the show ends in a, you know, in a few years, will turn out to be a bigger loser than like Grillo? No, I think that JD. JD. I think JD has a career ahead of him. Again, I would say JD. His biggest issue is selling himself, but JD has a very specific talent that I think he's very good at. I think that he can utilize that somewhere else. JD's got like twelve movies written in his head right now. He'll be fine. You know what? You know, Grillo's got a wife and stuff, though. JD's not formed one solid relationship with a woman. He's thirty years old. JD, you want to answer that? What did he say? He said you haven't had a solid relationship in 30 years. So I'm a fucking loser. Leave me alone, dig. I just like st- what do you want? I mean, you're on the Howard Star show, man. You should be getting laid every I know. I, I know. Okay, you come be me. You see how it is. <laughs> JD, I asked Gary this question before about Eric. I'll ask you the same thing. What you know, Jason, you know his MO. Why do you let him get under your skin? I don't as know. He does? I, I I well, I tried to leave and then I get called a baby. So I, I try not to engage in this, uh, uh, you know, play the game, but you know, then I get called a baby for not playing the game. So uh, I'm trying to play the game. That's all I'm trying to do. JD, is this uh, relationship repairable? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Here's my I question. Mean, I, I really have. I, I don't know. I mean, I do, do you have any interest? Uh, right now, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Right. Question. Question for Jason, though. You say you care about your relationship with JD, and that you know you. you you're upset that he doesn't like you, right? Am I right with that? But so yeah, to a certain degree. But when you see that he's clearly upset, and right. then you throw that line out there, I mean, it's funny. But the you have well, twelve movies in your head, kicking him in the balls basically when he's on the ground. Like, well, there's a couple things going on. <laughs> Number one, I did feel that way uh, until recently, where I just got fr- the thing that frustrated me when it came to JD was I didn't feel I could act like myself around him because acting like myself would make him genuinely angry. So. 
Uh, you know, so there's that. And yeah, no, we're on the air right now. We're, and he's pissed at me. He won't even look over here. We're sitting here arguing with each other. So yeah, I'm going to take jabs when I can take jabs. I mean, well, well, you know, I don't see him reaching over to shake my hand and say, hey, let's put this behind us and be friends. So well, what am I going to do? So he's just going to keep digging a bigger hole. Bigger I have hole. come to JD on so many occasions and said like, hey, man, are you pissed at me about something? Can we talk about this? Or blah, blah, blah. I, I I have to, you know, so we've worked together seven years. Like, it's enough, you know, enough already. It's just enough. So, no, I guess to answer your question, I don't care. Is this worse than Jared, JD? Ooh. Oof. Oof. Uh, I don't know. I, it, it, it's Jared no, was no, hot. No, no. <laughs> not this, uh, it's always harder when the guy's that's hammering you. No, I mean, I never really hung out with Jared. And for, I just never, we were not. Oh, so, so, so. We were uh, not like. Uh, Jared and Jason Friends at, at a uh, beer pong tournament. Who's your partner? I'd rather have Jason than Jared. Ooh. Nice. Wow. <laughs> progress. <laughs> progress. Window's open. Uh, I'm going to be I, nicer to Jason. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Window is open. That's because at the in his heart, he knows I can't fuck penthouse pets like Jared does. And that's what keeps us uh, level. That's what keeps us even. F Jared. F Jared. Damn right. Did you hear about the fireworks on the uh, rap show yesterday? No. What page? Gary Page 1. Gary, let's throw Gary Page 1. JD and Jason, it was ugly. J- oh, like, yeah. I never saw JD get that mad before. He was fucking furious. You got a little row on the uh, wrap up show I'm listening to. Wow. What's going on, man? Nothing. <clears throat> We're in the studio doing a commercial break. Standing and up somebody's for Somebody's pulling on JD about something, and he's sitting there and he's I laughing. Would be the same blah, blah, blah. Way. And, then, and then I made a comment, and he fucking just turns stone face and he storms out into the hall. And I go, I'm like, what the hell? And he's all mad at me. And it's those moments, it's the moments here on the wrap up show, the moments in the studio, the moments in the hallway where I seem to piss JD off and where he gets super angry about it. This isn't happening like at lunch. I love that I don't know really, about it, which is possible. He got really angry when you posted something on Twitter about him oh. stalking that 30 rack chick. Two, week, two weeks in a row. We have two female guests or whatever. Two weeks in a row, he has to go on Twitter and tweet. Oh, Jay. I have no idea any of all this is going on. Me neither. I never That's what so I said. I but I'm out there. How come you're not aware? I don't know. I, I mean, I'm aware of some other things that are going on that are waiting to blow up, but this wasn't one of them. <laughs> okay. JD looked look that way. And they wouldn't. They wouldn't look at each other. They were like, it was like this. Uh, it's awkward. It was it's awkward. Fighting. It was very awkward. These are very real emotions. <laughs> they are. It's hard. Did you pull the clip where? Um, Although a good technique is to stare at the person you're uh, fighting with, because uh, I, I'm but you're not confrontational. Into confrontation. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> you you want to win. He just wants to be left alone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's trying to get out the door. Exactly. There are two other there are two other things, Howard, that were said. Just laughing at him. <laughs> there are two other things that were said yesterday that I think are interesting. The first one is that these guys were uh, beer pong partners right. <laughs> for the last five years and. They both, they broke up. They, it was like a weird thing where they got together and they both knew they didn't want to be partners this year. That's just how it oh my God. That was, that was, that was funny. And the other thing that was funny was Jason said, Jason said, he said, this is another example where clearly in, in my mind, I'm talking as Jason, I had this idea of a relationship that I had that clearly didn't exist. I clearly thought I was better friends with JD. I clearly thought I could fuck around with JD, and I had this relationship that he goes, "It's on me because I clearly didn't see what the relationship was." Right. You didn't. You didn't realize that we weren't best friends. Right. right. So those are two. But the but beer, beer, the beer punk thing was just so funny. He said that I was like, "Well, who said it to who?" And they both were like, <laughs> "We walked in and we sort of like sort of knew." Okay. All right. Wow. That's kismet. <laughs> I go to, go to Gary Page one. I love it. I was just looking over the email, and um, one guy was saying, how dare I correct people's grammar when my grammar is so bad? Well, my grammar is bad, actually. It's quite, quite to my embarrassment. My wife is always correcting my grammar. And, I, and every time she does it, I don't understand the correction anyway. It doesn't get through my head. I don't understand the... So it can't go in permanently. No. No. For a guy who's quick to correct everyone's poor grammar, you really ought to ensure yours is correct. It's he and his wife, not him and his wife. He, you see, I would never know that. Well, you say it in, in a sentence without and his wife. You would never say yeah. him is going to the market. But, like, I'm on the air. I don't have time to think all that shit through. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got to go for it. And I got to go for what's funny, not for my proper grammar. So... I just go with whatever's in my head. Uh, let's see. Uh, JD, ver- this is still the email. JD versus Jason equals gold. Really? I can't get enough of that mushmouth JD. 
What is Jason fighting with JD? Oh, about? did you hear the wrap up show? They went at it pretty, pretty heavy. Really? Yeah. I, you know, you know, I, I come to work. I work with the guys, and then I go home. But in front of me, nobody has any kind of battle yeah. or thing. And, and Gary even said he's back there with those guys all day. He goes, he had no Never idea that. Never knew. No, no idea that. J, like he's aware of some shit, but JD and Jason, he thought were pretty tight. But evidently, there's a whole history with these guys going back to the beer pong days. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm learning about it now because I was fascinated by the wrap-up show. I'll play you some stuff from the wrap-up show since you missed it uh, real quick. Let me get to it. Here. Had no idea they had beef with each other. Yeah, they do. A lot of beef considering the size of both. Because, <laughs> like, they go to fast food every day together. and Right. They have that whole camaraderie over uh, Burger King. J.D. doesn't like Jason. Like, he, he'll take shit from Will, but not Jason. Wow. There's a whole thing going on back there. And it turns out, back in the beer pong days, J.D. and Jason were beer pong partners. Like, the, at every party, when there was beer pong. So they used to get along. Yeah. Howard, there's a tournament every year with everyone in the office. And Jason and J.D. have been beer pong partners five years running. Yeah, so tell Robin what happened next. Um... I guess they've been not getting along that well. So the way they talked about it in the wrap-up show yesterday was that, you know, they J.D. came in, he goes, about the beer pong tournament, and Jason sort of knew what it was about, and they just sort of mutually agreed that they weren't going to be partners anymore. And wow. And it's very awkward. Yeah, like one they day. They broke up the team. Did they ever have a discussion, or just like they just stopped? No, he just goes, he said, J.D. walks in and goes, uh, Jason, about the beer pong tournament, and Jason goes, yeah, and he goes, well, I was thinking, and Jason goes, yeah. All right, yeah, we probably shouldn't be partners anymore. And they're like, okay, good. And then they just walked away. Wow. <laughs> wow. The things that go on. Wow. Like, what, what, like, what, what, like, I don't understand. I want to know more. Like, wh what happened to break up this great team? Yeah. <laughs> if you're good at beer pong together, why not hang in there and win the tournament? But. It, things must have been so bad, it must have deteriorated. They can't even play beer pong together yeah. anymore. Yeah, it's fucking weird, huh? Wow. <laughs> but I kind of get it. I mean, There's can you, JD. Hey, JD, can you explain that to me? Like, what Like what clicked in your head? Uh, well, first of all, uh, we had... We were not very good beer pong players, so we oh, kept losing. You said that yesterday, but then you said you were I know. I was getting to that, Gair. Calm down. Give the guy a chance, dude. <laughs> I just walked in. He's, he's building to something. Uh, so you guys, let, let, me, let me understand something. You guys weren't good together, but then one year you won. Yeah, we did win one time, but, you know, as Will likes to point out, it was a very bad tournament that year. It was but, a weak competition. Yes, exactly. Right. Hey, a win is a win. Don't <laughs> let him take uh, it away oh, from yeah, you. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and it had been a while since we played and whatnot. And then, um, and then the the stuff, uh, you know, we had to show what's worth watching. And there were two, we had two female guests on in a row, uh, two weeks in a row. And he sent out these tweets. Jason sent out these tweets talking about how creepy I was and how creepy I was sounding and this and that. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't feel like I that he should be my partner in that case. Right. So I was just like, you know. Yeah, why be hypocritical about it? What, you know, so I was just like, whatever. And that was that. Yeah. So. Hey, I mean, I thought about it for a while, uh, you know, just because we had been so bad together. <laughs> that, right. uh, you know, but then Who's that, your beer punk partner now? I was Ben Bardo this last year. Oh, tournament. Ben Bardo. Yes. Well, how's he? Oh, Is he any good? So uh, you know, we, we, we only won one game. But, but Jason's sort of uh, not a great athlete, so when you have to get that little ball in the, in the, the, in the stupid whiskey glass or whatever it is. There's really no athleticism there to beer pong. No. Did Jason get a new partner? Who's yes. your partner, Jason? Teddy. Teddy's your partner? Yeah, Teddy. And how did you guys do? We did horrible. Oh. <laughs> no. yeah. Ben Bardo doesn't find you creepy and doesn't put out text? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> wow. I don't know. He might I find no you idea. creepy. You know what? I, I really didn't realize how much this text bothered you. I apologize for the text well, because nice. I wasn't I, I wasn't calling you. I mean, you were creepy during the interview, but I was trying to make a joke so people knew the show was on. But uh, he was doing an interview with this girl and telling her how he's following her around the subway and with his camera phone and stuff. So I'm like, hey, if you want to hear J.D. creep out with a girl on the right. what's worth watching. <laughs> but I do creepy, sincerely I apologize if that hurt your feelings. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Well, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't want to? You don't want to get back? With it? No, no. I mean, I, I don't. <laughs> sort of sad. <laughs> no, I mean, listen, listen, I, it, when it comes down to it, I do love Jason, but right. there are just times <laughs> where you know it, he just can be he annoying. Goes, he goes too far. I, I mean, personally, for me, yeah. Well, what the is girl, some of the, the gr- other time? From what I understand, the girl's name is Katrina Bowden. She's an actress. Okay. <laughs> and, and he was tweet. following her around? Well, <laughs> that's he, a long story. He, he ta- Jason tagged the tweet so the girl would see it. <laughs> no. And that really bothers JD. Did I? <laughs> yes. Oh, all right. I, all right. Again, I apologize. <laughs> so that really kind of fucked JD. Well, it up. didn't help. <laughs> right. That was like a compound. Not, not that I had a chance with her anyway. She's, she's engaged now for crazy. No, but I'm saying that, was compa- <laughs> that compounded the problem. You had a chance before. Right. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> you see? Uh, yeah. yeah. If you wanted to, the clip of JD explaining to the girl how he used to follow her is on Gary Page 2. Oh, my God. We're bringing this up again? Well, you why did. not? Well, you said it right on the air. Uh, you brought it up. Yeah. No one reads Hashtag tweet. creep. <laughs> oh, let's see. I have to apologize to oh, Katrina for uh, stalking her underground one day and tweeting what? about it. What? Uh, no, I, I just I. <laughs> you're, you're frightening. I think, her I, think I may no, remember this tweet. Yeah, I I saw her downstairs. I was going to lunch, and I just wanted a confirmation that I saw who it was. And uh, I just followed from behind slightly. Oh. And, uh, well, hey, listen, I didn't do anything else. I, I'm not a dangerous <laughs> Was person. it here, like near Rock? It, near it was down, Rock yes. Rock. It was under uh, outside the tri-tip. Oh, underground at 30. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and that was weird. I was up here. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even brought I was, like, up, walking around underneath 30 Rock, <laughs> which is where he saw me. Yeah. Like, the actual building. I, yeah, I met up with them. Oh, forget it. I probably was, like, running late. I'm always running late. Yeah, I was probably was running wearing? late and, like, mad. Well, and, like, I just... Fighting uh, Tourists. Yes, <laughs> yes. Outside that goddamn Empire State Building, people just stand outside in the hall, just like uh, moseying around. You're trying to move, whatever. No, well, whatever is right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, these two really went at it on the wow. wrap-up show. I could play some clips from it, <laughs> but you know, they really, they really dislike each other. Well, well, apparently Jason has done some things that get under J.D.'s skin, and he's never said, I guess. You know what I think it is? A lot of people think they can do anything they want to J.D., and he, he's just a good sport, and he'll take it. But then, And then when he gets upset, everyone's surprised. But, no, that's not know, how I feel. No, but when you call a guy a creep, you know he's going to get upset normally. Like, you wouldn't call me a creep, but J.D., you would. Well, but, okay, but, see, J.D. and I hang out, and we call each other names, and we're friends, you know? We ball bust each other. Uh, He he certainly said stuff to me. I mean, you know, it's not not a one-way street. What I don't understand, well, first of all, I told J.D. this yesterday, I just don't think he likes me, because we'll be in a room with people, and people are busting balls, and it's all fun and games, and all of a sudden I say something, and And it's it's World War III. Maybe he does like you, and the fact that you're jumping in, and really offends him. Maybe, but I've talked friend. to him about this many times off the air. Like, I've, I JD, said, dude, if I pissed it? you off, you are really, you mad at me? What? Which is it? Do you really like him so much that when he jumps in, it hurts? Or is it that you just, yeah. he's just a creep too? And no, there's, there's, there's definitely that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, we, we, like, like I said, we, we've gotten along, but there are just times where, you know, I, I have Will who insults me all the time, and, you know, and then I got, it's like when you insult me and then Robin says something or whatever, I get, you know, people get mad at Robin. Right. She chimes, you know, whatever. Adds on. (laughs) Sorry, Rob. I'm sorry, Rob. (laughs) (laughs) You know, it's like watching a tennis match with one player. I know. (laughs) I know. He argues with himself. I just don't want to be. I just don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, you really don't like talking. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, Gary said when these two were fighting, it was weird in the studio during the wrap-up show. JD and Jason wouldn't look at each other while they were arguing, and I and I said to JD, I said, you know, JD, a really good technique is to stare the person down that you're arguing with. Because they may not be able I to said, speak. I said I always make eye contact with, and he goes, and then Gary goes, he's trying to say. Because he's like, <laughs> he's trying to say, he, he doesn't want to confront anybody. He doesn't, he goes, Howard, this is Gary Toy, he goes, Howard, you want to win the argument. JD just wants to get out of the room. <laughs> he doesn't care if he wins the right. argument. Right. Yeah. But there was no argument, at least for me, like in the sense that uh, I'm not mad at JD. I'm not sitting here going, oh, I hate him. I, I don't want to talk to him anymore. Like there was no anger coming out of from me, but it was, it was just more frustration at some point where I'm just like, I just got to deal with the fact that JD doesn't enjoy my company. Yeah. That's all. It sucks for me. It bums me out. But you like uh, JD? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> I mean, we've known him since the day he started here. Right. 
Well, he's got a lot of issues with you. I know. <laughs> he I does. Know. I got, a lot, issues, I like got a lot of issues, period, for Christ's sake. But, J.D., can you really pinpoint uh, any other time? I never dressed like a pimp before. I know that. I got that going for me. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, he got mad at Jared that one year when he dressed like a pimp for oh, Halloween. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't mad. I was just annoyed. Oh, I know what it was. You guys were arguing on the wrap-up show. It's the whole hot thing. I guess the interns every year. Oh, no. they they evaluate. <laughs> right. This is the other thing they got into. Heard about that. The interns every year on the intern show evaluate. You know, like an F. Mary Kill type situation. And yeah. Jason and and uh, and J D. and Benji have been in it. The dud category. <laughs> yeah, it's called the dud category. And, and, and listen, it's a bummer to be Stop in that. that. And it turns out that Jason beats out J D. a lot. But and that's not Jason's and fault. Yeah, Thank you. But JD gets I never upset. Said, I never said that was Jason's fault. <laughs> but he just, he just, he just can't stand it. But you don't get angry at Jason. Oh, and he comes in and he's rude to me about it. He comes in the next day. He's like, I can't believe. He'll go right up to the intern. I can't believe you picked, you know, Jason over me. And I'm like, being rude to you. what? That's being rude to me. You go uh-huh. up to somebody and go, I can't believe you picked Jason <laughs> over me. You're saying he's ugly. I'm not. You know, how am I supposed to take that? Uh-huh. Yeah. It b- yeah. B- b- bums JD out. Then he gets mad at Jason. Yeah. But really, Jason, it's not Jason's fault the girls picked I him. curse I, you for being handsome. <laughs> <laughs> it's my curse. Uh, I, uh, I so uh, that leads to a big problem. Wow. It's true, feelings. J.D. You could be just as mean when you go around saying that to everyone. I can't believe no, you picked I, Jason. You know, I, know, I got, I, I got yeah. that point. I just, I... He just rubs you the wrong way. Uh, it, <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't make any points. It's this, weird this, how you can't make any points. I can't make any point. point. Why I did, one point. of the reasons why I didn't want I to know. to get into any of this is because you know I you know when Jay when Jason argues with someone and get you know he's he's smart and he's good at talking and he's and he's quick and he won't <laughs> relent like right. he makes sure. He wins, right? And he won't stop. That's true. So that's you know, right. I, and I can't win with that. I just want to. That's why we left alone. Yeah. There was a point when they were arguing, fighting yesterday, where it was like clear that it was you could just see JD was stewing. You know, it was just it was killing him. Yeah. And then out of the, out of left field, we're talking about something else, and Jason just makes a joke about JD's five chins. Like he never stops. Right. Right. But yeah. why is it okay for Will to be so relentless with you? I, I don't know. It's that's how JD's how, oh, in love with Will. Yes. <laughs> in love with Will. I, I have a man crush. There, though, for, yeah. First of all, first of all, uh, <laughs> first of all, first of all, <laughs> second of all, uh, uh, third of all. Uh, <laughs> It's how, it's how it's always been <laughs> since I've interned. That's always been sort like of a relationship. Will to you is like the cooler guy, so you want to like please him. And, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. At the first point. Oh, is Robin emasculating you over there by laughing? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, she's like tissue. Uh, actually, she she got, she's got the tissues. <laughs> All those classes she's taking aren't working. <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny that that he just can't get out of thought? First of all, first, <laughs> you know, it just goes on. He he never made one. He never got it. I know, and you know what? I'm purposely letting him make and, any and point he wants. Point was, I, uh, I'm keeping my mouth shut so you can make a point. <laughs> I know. Right. I'm trying here to understand what's going on. In other words, Will is more alpha. He's more of a guy you respect because he's good looking and athletic and all that. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I haven't, uh, listen, I'm not a, a psychiatrist or whatever, therapist. I don't know. Really? But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't tell well, me your troubles. Well, now we've established. <laughs> I'm not Sig- Siegfried Freud. Uh, uh, tell, tell me about your childhood. Uh, mine sucks. <laughs> I'm no sick freedom, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Will, like Will's your dude. Like he's your man crush. You know, <laughs> he's my George Clooney. He's your, he's your bro man. He's the George Clooney of the back office. Yeah. <laughs> so like him, and I'm his Brad Pitt. There's no, no, there's no like, man crush. You know, there isn't with no. him. <laughs> No. Yeah. Like I have a bromance. I think he's funny. I, I think Will is... Nothing wrong with a bromance. I have one with Jimmy Kimmel. I almost cried when he left my house one time. <laughs> I like the guy. Remember that, Robin? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I like him. Uh, I will. Seems like a decent fellow. <laughs> a yeah. good heart. No a good guy. Heart. A good no, egg. No guy has caused me to cry, so... Right.
But I didn't well, cry. Will left. <laughs> I do want to go on record as saying I didn't cry. Or close almost, to cry. almost. <laughs> I just was a little weepy. <laughs> uh, but if you had to sleep with a dude, like like if your life depended I'm on it. I'm not sleeping with a dude. If you had to sleep with Will this. or Jason, you'd sleep with Will. <laughs> There's right? a gun to your head. I'm not There's into a gun this. to your head. Who are you going to be with? I don't with? care. J.D. Uh, Murray. I'll fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> J.D. Murray. That sounds nice. That's the right issue. That's the right answer, by the way. You'd kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mr. J.D. Murray. Oh, okay. oh On a desert island, I go behind the coconut tree. <laughs> J.D. Well, Murray. I'm home. I'm Hello, home. honey. I'm home from the office. <laughs> hey, honey, I'm uh, homo. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a great day. I made you a wait. nice turkey meatloaf. Well, there was something crazy about yesterday. You just kept walking out of the studio. Yeah, with with Marty. Yeah. Marty, the uh, actor. Well, I, as soon as I walk in, he starts making fun of me. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> he walked out of the wrap-up show, too. I, I didn't even know what was going on. Yeah, J.D. walked off the wrap-up show. And yeah, then I think he well, was particularly I tr- sensitive I tried yesterday. to, and then, you know, he's he keeps calling me a baby. It's like he, he was pushing me in the back. Well, you came well, in, you, 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 you came in, you started something, and then you no, walked no, out I the did, second well, I, I said mean, something. I didn't mean to start something. Well, you I, did. I was, well, I, whatever. I, I, listen, I was done. But you had to keep calling me a baby. I called you a baby like, once, Colin. No, 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 you didn't. You said it multiple times. I said well, you're going to leave the studio. Stu- I said you're going to leave the studio, baby, and you yeah, turned yeah. around and walked right back in. Right. Yeah. It worked. It worked. You cut you back in. I you could have walked right that's out. Why, that's why I didn't want to get involved with it in the first place. You could have walked right out. We would have been done, moved on to a no, whole different no, topic. No, no, no. It would not have been done. You would have continued and continued. Right. Trust me. I know how you've been with the pace and everyone else. Yeah. Wow. I know the MO. <laughs> yeah. But are you getting very sensitive? Are we are we doing the wrong thing? No. <laughs> I'm, not. I'm having I'm, my menses. Listen, I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I've always been sensitive, yeah. I think. I'm well, just, I think anybody there's would be. Just, I, I, I'm, no, it, but you've had a better there, sense of humor there about been, it. No, listen, there are better times when I'm able to deal with it and uh. Uh, whatnot, and... Uh, I don't know. Right. Listen, uh, Will, I've always, there have been times where I've been pissed off with Will. I got pissed off with him this morning. Uh And then he smiles at me and I forgive him. (laughs) (laughs) What did he do to you this morning? Nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. What do you mean? What did he say to you? No, he was just no, no, he was just joking around. What did he say? Not that I can't remember. What did he say? I can't remember. You remember. No, oh, you remember everything I do to you. No, no, yeah, I remember every no, tweet. No, Go ahead. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> some, st- some stuff sticks in the long-term memory. Hmm. But you can't remember what Will no, did. He just, you just remember being pissed off. Yeah. Do you want to hear the wrap-up show when they were <laughs> yes, arguing? Yes, yeah. All right. Mm. It's kind of the same stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Jay... <laughs> All right, here we go. Do you think you lack confidence when it comes to this kind of stuff? I know sure, you're different uh, online yeah, than in listen, person. Uh, of course, but, you know, uh, yeah. Do you uh, think you need to wash your hair? Or you I wash my it? hair, oh. fuckhead. Oh, hey, don't, <laughs> Marty's the one that pointed it out. Pantene. Yeah, I know I know exactly <laughs> what you were doing. Gary, JD wants to punch <laughs> Jason right now. I don't yeah. know if <laughs> this is, is, this, is there more hostility than today that I, I mean, don't it know just, about? It's always like this. It's always like this with him. But it's always like this with Will. You, you don't want to punch Will. <laughs> no, listen. Okay. Will does not miss a moment to make a fat joke, I know. whether we're right, on listen. the air, in okay. the hallway, or near the bathroom. Okay. JD doesn't like me. Yeah, I don't like someone seeking attention and seeking making fun of me by getting his attention. But that's what Will does. No, he does. No, he doesn't. He does. It's more behind the scenes. He Dude, it, they, they made all... a whole Howard TV show about Will fucking around with. Him. Uh, okay. So don't tell me it's not. And, and by the way, and by the way, that's always been my history with Will. That's always been like when I was an intern, he busted my balls like that. That necessarily wasn't a fact with Jason. And then all of a sudden, you know, he sees. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on. So J- Jason hasn't earned the right to fuck with you the way I, Will I, does. No, it has no, nothing no. to do with earn the right. I, I I don't know what it is. It was like today. Like I was sitting here first, and then JD walked in, and then somehow me making fun of him is for me trying to get attention for myself. What? Right, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Oh no, I don't know what you're fucking trying to say. <laughs> Go ahead. That what? beard is hiding all your chin, so maybe you shouldn't shave it. Hey, oh. Go fuck yourself. See, the other... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, JD, <laughs> only. You're both rocking back and forth at the same rhythm while they listen to it. Is that true? I can't yeah, see them. Going, going. Wow. It's weird. I'm watching JD rock. I didn't know Jason was rocking, You know, Jason too. did make a good point in that. You think you're better than Jason, because you get mad at everyone when they vote him ahead of you, and the girls like him better than you. Uh, I, I don't think I'm better. I, the, yeah, that's, that's true. Better. That's evidence. Well, whatever. Yeah, I'm sort of seeing... <laughs> like Will is the pack leader and Jason thinks that I mean Will uh, JD thinks that Jason's on his level and shouldn't be making fun of him 
It's so great that you guys don't like each other. <laughs> I, I, what? No, I, I, there are times when I, I like Jason, wow. but there are times when I don't. Uh, I like JD all the time, but I'm even bummed out by this whole thing. Yeah. So, all right, whatever. let's continue with, from the wrap-up show. You Jason. make fat jokes about him <laughs> all the time. You make fat jokes about him. But if Jason were to make a fat joke, Which that, would piss, that would piss him off. And he stormed out of the room. Well, Listen, you know what? Also, think... also, a lot of it is Will will make the joke, and then Jason makes the joke, like, right after it. Well, what about it's right like, now? Hold on, exactly. It's like when Howard says something, and then Robin is, like, you know, uh, the, the side, uh, you know, the, the whatever she is. I don't know what. You know, like the, the, the friend that the... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <sighs> <laughs> wow, he's right. Wow. I do definitely get more angry. I get pissed off at Will. Will come, when I'm on wrap up and Will comes on wrap up and he can't, he's that's all he does is make fun of me on wrap up. Right. I get very pissed off at him. Right, right. It's it, 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 when it's on air, it, that's when it It's embarrassing. The most. Yes. I I understand that. <laughs> I embarrass myself enough. Right. <laughs> <laughs> One more clip, Robin? Yes. <laughs> You're in the studio doing a commercial break. Any more tissues? And somebody's tooling on JD about something, and he's sitting there, and he's laughing, and blah, blah, blah. And then and then I made a comment, and he fucking just turns stone face, and he storms out into the hall, and I go, I'm like, oh, what the hell? And he's all mad at me. And it's those moments. It's the moments here on the wrap-up show, the moments in the studio, the moments in the hallway where I seem to piss JD off and where he gets super angry about it. This isn't happening, like, at lunch. He, Unless he I don't really, know about it, which is possible. He got really angry when you posted something on Twitter about him oh. stalking that 30 Rock chick. Two, week, two weeks in a row. We have two female <laughs> guests or whatever. Two weeks in a row, he, he has to go on Twitter and tweet, Oh, JD sounds like a fucking creep again. JD creeping out the guests. Creep, you know, and hashtag creep. It's like, what the <laughs> no, fuck? No, I hashtag the name of the show, the John Hines <laughs> show. No, but uh, yeah, You know what? Can, can yeah, I think? Had to hit me with that? <laughs> the most interesting and I have never posted. I've never tweeted. Uh, Jason, Jason's on wrap up show talking about bullshit. No one talking, you know, cares about. The most interesting part of this whole thing for me <laughs> is that, uh, that the visual of this, what's going on right now, much like Mike and the Mad Dog show. <laughs> although these two guys are five feet apart in direct line of sight, they, they haven't will. looked at each other in twenty minutes. Yeah, they will look at each other. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, what do you have to add uh, to this? Good morning, uh, Will. Yeah. <laughs> My boy right there. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Go ahead. Uh, the only thing I was going to say is the difference I see between the relationship is I think when I'm busting JD's balls, it's more of a friendship thing. I think. And maybe I'm delusional. And when Jason's doing it, it's more to kind of really try and dig at JD. But I may be wrong about that. Tell me the truth. Is it that Will. I've always been truthful. Is Will, when Will does it, it's less of a sting than Jason, or, or is it equal? I, he says it with love. <laughs> it's a, for the most part. I mean, from what I uh, can remember, it's Will starts off with something, you know, that, that, that you know, it's not so bad. Yeah, well, I mean, it's always bad. <laughs> <with him. laughs> and then I got Jason over here saying the same thing or adding on, and it's like I, you know, I don't need more people piling on. Right. You got so you just shit. get like, mad. I, like I designated Will. The, the, he's. I, I guess I designated in my, him in my mind as. The, the the guy the constantly bust my balls or whatever. Would you feel better if Jason went first and then Will pop up? <laughs> right. I don't know. It just depends on the situation. Right. Okay. <laughs> I don't but know. you realize you bust their balls too. Yes. Uh, yeah. And it's hurtful. <laughs> 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 One more clip. I, uh, <laughs> I could see JD's just stewing and and I just, I just, I don't like I. I what I don't know. I just don't know. I just did not. I do not like confrontation and arguing and whatever. <laughs> to, uh, you know. But you have an opinion. But you do have an opinion, and you are upset, yes. so you should be allowed to express uh, it. Uh, whatever. I mean, I no. I listen. I don't like to rock the boat around here. I don't like to cause you know uh, uh, problems or whatever. So you know, I just keep. I you know, I just want to keep. The machine moving fine. What I'm getting from you, though, is you didn't rock the boat. Somebody was rocking your boat, and you got sick of it. Uh, no, I mean, well, now, I mean, now, what, now it's going to cause the whole, you know. The- you know, when I hear this stuff, uh-huh. you know, I love JD. <laughs> I, love, I love all the guys. I love Jason, all of them. Mm-hmm. And then I go, you know, shit, 
I'm getting older. I want to retire at some point, and oh, I can't. No, no. I can't. I can't let these guys go. You know, like <laughs> where, are where are they going to go to fight? I don't know. I was just like, yeah, I can't break up this group. And I was just like, you know what? They've been with me too long. If I leave, I got to find something for them to do with me because they're like yes, my sir, kids. Please. Right. I got to find some way to. Got to keep them together. Yeah. Be weird if I leave. I, I can't look at these guys. <laughs> I don't want to be a burden. They're like a family. Don't you got to? Can you guys do anything? <laughs> Besides fight with each right. other? <laughs> and look at JD, he's so vulnerable. I was like, oh my God, how much money would it take for me to just pay him off so, he'd never... <laughs> so I don't have to worry about him? Ay, 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 ay. Worry, how are you going to survive in the world? You can't even get out a sentence. <laughs> I mean, how could you? Oh, my goodness. This whole idea you're going to be a film director is impossible. Uh, I, uh, 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 whatever, uh, take, uh, uh, act, whatever, roll. You know what I mean? Move. Yes, I know exactly what you're Well, maybe that's what he needs. He needs to lose the security blanket. No. And then mm. everything will come together. He needs me. <laughs> <laughs> They all do. <laughs> Even Gary. I'm going to go do producing somewhere else. I'm like, what, what the fuck are you going to produce? You've been with me your whole life. What's he going to produce? What show is looking for him? There's no other show like this one. Yeah. Like when he goes and sees what these guys in America's Got Talent have to produce, his head will fall off. Um. <laughs> Here's a funny thing. You, you just contradict yourself. If you really cared about us... You'd go, Gary's a good producer. When we're done here, I'm leaving in three years. Gary will be fine. That way you don't have to worry about us. But instead, you you, you talk us down. And I'm then... just trying to think what job you would get. <laughs> I can't imagine what I could do. Has anybody ever offered you a producing job outside of here? Sure. Oh, they have? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Who? Why would I tell you? Why not? Why, what do I why care? Would I tell you I, because theater? it might make me look at you better. <laughs> I've been offered jobs. It's, I, I, I wouldn't come to you every time. Not, nothing better than this. Oh. <laughs> be out the door in a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's true. Like, there was a guy pitching me on a TV show, major network TV show. Uh huh. And he goes, um, and look, you can have any producer you want. If you want, Gary can produce it. And I went, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> I go, now, Howard. But, but, but Gary had no expertise in this field. It was a, a, a major television show with major production and everything. And I went, and that killed the deal. I just went, well, obviously, they don't know what they're doing. They're uh, putting Gary in charge of this. Right? Come on. Wow. No, I mean, Gary doesn't have any expertise in that field. He's a radio guy. But, but, I wouldn't but, know. But you know that Gary could do something. This is more than, this isn't some radio show at Des Moines, Iowa. This is, uh, this is almost like a television show. Yeah. It is a television show. You think you can handle it? Of course I can handle it. You could put together crews of special teams that, that uh, yeah, we're, we're, in television? Absolutely. I, but you absolutely. don't know anybody in television. What do you mean? I, I know tons of people. <laughs> well, okay, okay. Know? All right. We need a uh, crew <laughs> to produce. <laughs> let's say, okay. JD is laughing. We need a crew to, pr to produce America's Got Talent, all right? And but you have to come see that production. I mean, it, it's like well, a major. I understand it's a big production, but you know, then there's there, there's way more staff than there is here. There's a line producer, like you even said. There's three different producers for three different segments of You're the show. You're saying you could be the executive producer of uh, America's Got Talent. Yeah, I think I could. Yeah. Just, you okay. have to be able to oversee people. You don't have to. In other words, you don't have to understand every single <laughs> intricacy of lighting. You just have to know that you're hiring the right people and have a working knowledge of lighting. But you don't have to know every single thing. You have to trust the person that you hired to run that. Yeah. And you have to pick the right people and oversee them. I don't know. I, I got very nervous when they said that. <laughs> and that was well, like, I said to my agent, that's a deal killer. That's so funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you have did you have a meeting one time with TV people and they said they thought I was good? Yeah, no, this guy thought you, he, he was like, he didn't know. He just said, uh, gee, if, if it's Gary you want, then Gary will be the guy. And I went, oh, boy, that's who they're offering me, Gary? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, I mean, because he's never produced a television show before. Well, you're, you're exactly like the people Gary has to go out and see because right. you haven't seen him do it. You don't think he can do anything. All right. I'm wrong. Sorry, Gary. <laughs> you can produce the show. Maybe I should. I, maybe I, I should look at you that way. Why, why bother now? <laughs> I love the way you produce my show. There's no better producer in radio. I just You've never done television before, and it kind of freaked me out. I said, well, although, what, what does that guy Gelman know? Or 
any of those Gary games. had never produced a radio show before he started producing this. Yeah, I never would have hired him there either, but I didn't have any budget. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> I, was like, I was against one other guy, and I only got the job because you didn't like the other guy. That's true. I only had two people apply, and I hated the other guy. Yeah, I, I mean, what do you think you're going to get for $150 a week and then taking taxes out? No, Gary's really good, actually. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm just fucking busting his balls. I was trying to get him to go. You get, go at me, and he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting smart. <laughs> nah, you know I think the listen. You're the producer of my show. Why, why, why would I think you're bad? If I, why would I hire you if I thought you were bad? So I say all the time when people tell me how much I suck. People, no. well, you fucking suck. I would just fucking feel sorry for you. I'm like, I <laughs> no, feel sorry for me for 28 years. Do it like maybe 10 of those years I felt sorry. For <laughs> now I don't. Now I feel like he's a capable guy. <laughs> You know what it is? I knew Gary when he was like 19 right, or something. he was a boy. And I was like, what the hell is this? This is a discussion we had last week when you were saying that you wanted to buy me a suit because I needed another suit. Right. And I said to you, Howard, I appreciate it, but I can afford to buy a suit. And you go, yeah, I know. I still think of you as a little kid. I was I was trying to give you a gift to show my appreciation, actually. Oh, I know, but you still think that. I, I think sometimes you think that. No, I think, I think that you're a guy who goes, you know what? One thing I don't need to buy is a suit, and that's a luxury item that I could buy for you as a gift. When you buy someone a gift, you try to get them something they wouldn't, wouldn't buy for themselves. And you're absolutely right, because the suit you bought me is great, and I would never spend that kind of money on a suit. I'm right. like, I go right off the rack for the cheapest shit I can find. Right. So I thought it was a nice thing. Yeah. Yes, it is. But, but, but sometimes I feel like you still think I'm a little kid. Yeah, I do. I got to admit. Like, people say, wow, you know, Gary looks old and everything. And I go, I see him as like a 12-year-old. <laughs> you, know, you know, my birthday's like, a Like, I don't believe he has a kid going to college. I no, still don't right. believe it. You know, my birthday's in two weeks. Do you know how old I'm going to be? Yeah, 50. 51. Whoa. Wow, you're 50 already. You already had your 50th? Yeah, we should have. We should have celebrated. Really? We did. You go, hey, Gary's fifty today. No, here's what's up next. <laughs> <laughs> that was the celebration. Did your wife throw a big party for you? No. 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 She turned no. fifty-two, so she wasn't celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, she could have celebrated you. Our birthdays are a day apart, so that's always a weird thing. Because like, if I sometimes I want to celebrate, she doesn't. Is it your birthday in like two weeks? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that came up on my calendar today. Ah. Uh, I get a two-week notice for Gary's birthday. Good. In case I actually want to get him something, but I never do. <laughs> Except that year I got him a suit. <laughs> I like Gary. Yeah, Gary is a good producer, I got to admit. He comes through. It's hard to work for me, too, because... Well, one thing is I never fire anyone, but I am awfully critical of them when I go home. But look at how he was trying to take care of you with even Eric, the actor. He said right. he he talked to the people about where to put Eric. Yeah, and what yeah he's to good do with him. Well, Gary's my because man. he knows how it is to work with you. But Gary's got my back. He's good. Look at him. Very much looking forward to coming watch you work in Texas. Yeah, you'll have a good time. I really am very excited. Thank you. See, in television, they have so many people, they make it look more complicated. Yeah, well, you know what? On that America's Got Talent, it looks like every, like there's one guy doing all, like 90% of the work. <laughs> but there are all these people standing around. Yeah. But the reason it looks that way is because he's the guy who works with us. Right. There's like 500 other people working. All right. Well, as far as you go, J.D., you've got a lot going on, man. He just wants to be left alone, and just he just wants to... I don't know what he wants. I think he likes people, but he doesn't like them to talk to him. Is that true? I, no, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not... I know I'm what not What do very... you want? Tell me what you want, and I'll make it happen. <laughs> what do you want around here? Tell me exactly what you want. I'm fine. You like being on the radio, though, right? Because it gives you some stardom well, I... and chicks. <laughs> Do, what do you listen, want? You no, want everyone I, no, to leave on. you alone? I could make that happen. No, I... There, I... The, be, being, you know, known and stuff is... I'm giving you whatever you want now. Now, tell me what you want. You, here's I'll your choice. This, I just want to leave the studio right now. No, no. <laughs> that, that I'm not giving you. That's the one thing I can't give you. All right, here's what I want to know. Do you want things to go on as they are? Yes, that's fine. Right. Well, that's fine. Wait, you didn't hear all your choices yet. Do you want I don't need to... any other choices. Do you want to be part of the guys, including all the ribbing and all the, you know, that, I mean, just fine. be one of the guys and yeah. have air time and all that? That's fine. Or do you want me to completely remove you from the air 
<laughs> I, I can make you go away. Like, like you know how, like, no, I know. Evan is I not know known? You, you know how Evan's not known? <laughs> yes. Like, he's a guy who works here all the time. The audience doesn't know him. I rarely bring him on. And, you know, no Twitter followers for him. No, you know, I could take Evan and make him a star. But I, I, I haven't. Do you want to go into obscurity like Evan and then have everyone sort of ignore you? <laughs> or do you want to be part I'm, of the team? I'm, no, I like being All right. For the, I like the the pros what? of being part of the team far outweigh the cons and I'm I'm right. able to deal with the cons. So All right. I'm fine. You want to be Robin's boyfriend? I'll make that happen. No, no, no. no. You <laughs> what can't do you mean? Make no. That happen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Robin. No, no, no. You... <laughs> I wasn't. Oh, so emasculated. Emasculated <laughs> once again. <laughs> the interns oh. kill me now, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robin, let me ask you an F. Mary kill. Oh, my God. You did this to me <laughs> before. All right. If you, were on an island, if you were on an island with Benji, <laughs> She's killed me every time. And Jason. <laughs> every time. Who? F. Mary kill. <laughs> Benji. JD and Jason. Uh, You've killed me, Robin. It's okay. You can do it again. No, Be things honest. might have changed. Oh uh, no, things haven't changed. No, you don't know that. Oh why really? You, the the beard the beard works for you? Why are you arguing with me? <laughs> I don't know. I think the beard makes you look better, but it's just me. I don't, yeah, I'm a I dude. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm just Do you lazy. think the beard makes you look better? No, I I this I mean I want to shave it. It's annoying. I want to cut my hair, but I, look I just like have a no idea what to do. Grown. Hmm. So. Hey, look, Robin's swimming off the island. She doesn't want to answer it. <laughs> there she goes. And she doesn't even know how to swim, so she's drowning herself. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> she's on an island with you three. You cruel, guys gotta cruel go world. Fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Robin. Seriously. Let me see how this works. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Let me see how this works, how JD always ends up at the end of this. All right, who do you marry? Benji, Jason, and JD. Who do you marry? <laughs> I marry Jason. Okay, because he can have a conversation with you, and it's yeah. right, right. You can get some emotional support there. <laughs> All right, so now you got to fuck one Benji or JD or, and kill the other guy. So who do you fuck? Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> 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 Benji, look at Robin so she can make a decision. Where is Benji? All right, he's going to give you his pretty boy look. Uh, stand up. Let me see you. Oh, man. This is my GQ, dude. <laughs> ah, that's your choice. Robin, who do you fuck and who do you kill? <laughs> Which one is your dream vote? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, pull yourself together, woman. God. Uh, What's your choice, Mrs. Kaplan? <laughs> I'll do it really quick. What? What, what? is that, I'll Benji? Really You'll fuck her quick. You'll quickly. Yeah. No, go Get ahead. Me go out ahead. Of my misery. Go ahead. All right. Uh... Wait. <laughs> uh... Oh my God! The look she just gave. <laughs> Be honest. That's all I'm asking. All right. I'm fucking Benji. <laughs> you're fucking Benji, so you're killing JD. Oh. I thought things had changed. <laughs> you thought things had changed. My ass. Wow. She married Jason. You need some more training. She fucked Benji. Or whatever that stuff is. And she killed you. Yeah. She killed you. She ended your life. <laughs> Rather than make love. Wow. Does that hurt? No, no, it's par for the course. Right. He's used to it now. Same and now way. what happens? Jason goes back there and says, eh, oh, the, oh, my God. The, 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 la the last time this happened, Jason <laughs> cheered in the office. <laughs> he goes, yeah. <laughs> Yay for uh, me and fuck you. Oh, my goodness. I was thinking maybe JD was getting out of that kill thing and maybe into the fight. I category. thought so too. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it took longer. <laughs> uh -huh. There you go. He gets laid. Yeah. When's the last time you got some? You know, over the summer. Over the summer? Yeah. What month is this? I don't know. <laughs> February. Let's see. It's almost next summer. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost <I> know. next summer. <laughs> <laughs> was it that stripper chick? No. Oh, different oh, one. Was it Kissy yeah. Fur? No. No, it was a chick, not a strip club chick, like no, a regular no, chick. A regular lady. Yeah. Will you meet these girls on Twitter? Twitter's a great... Man, if I was single, yeah. I'd be all over that. That's, you know, that's where all the, you know, Twitter and Facebook... That's you know, what I'm saying. You that's can't, that's why you where need... all the interest is. It's, it's hardly anyone local. Yeah. <laughs> and I, if it's local, you know, they all have boyfriends or something. 
All local women have boyfriends? Well, I mean... <laughs> this, uh, no, I Anybody mean, close by has a boyfriend. That's, it seems like How it. does that happen? Anybody yeah. that's seen <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, uh, my name's JD. Uh, I, oh, I have a boyfriend. boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> when, when did that happen? <laughs> Just now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you fuck girls from out of town, mostly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Man, that's good. That way you don't get hassled afterwards. They leave. <laughs> they got to go back home. <laughs> or do they want to stay over, like, for a couple of days? No, I mean, everyone's, you know. Everyone's, everyone's gotten out of town really fast. Got out of town. <laughs> Everyone chewed the ropes off. <laughs> everyone's tires were screeching. <laughs> oh, this, I got to get back. This is crazy. What do you mean to have a boyfriend? You're a nun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, when you go to do those block parties, do you ever get chicks? I, I mean, I only did this past, you know, this past weekend. That was their first the, one? Yeah, and then, you know, they went to the meet and greet, and the, the, they all have boyfriends there. Yeah. The, yeah, boy, so the, it, the boyfriends were like, oh, my girlfriend's in love with you. It's like, oh, great. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Someone told me a story. I don't even know if it's true. I didn't even oh, ask no, you this. I don't even know. What? Some girl came to meet JD at his hotel this weekend during the block party, but she uh-huh. brought her boyfriend with her. Not, oh, it, no. Yeah. It, it wasn't her boyfriend. It was just a friend. A dude. Yeah. That a bodyguard. To, dude, that used to happen to me all the time. There was this chick in college. We made out, like, on a Friday night. So, like, as soon as one girl, a girl makes out with me, the next day I'm over because I'm thinking I You're can close the deal. You're trying to close the deal. I go over. She, I said, I'm coming over. I go over there. I must have been bad at making out because... <laughs> She had this dude sitting there next to her on the bed the entire time. And I sat across from them. And I sat there for hours waiting for him to leave. And then I finally got it through my thick head. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. We smoked hash the entire day. And then I went home and took four hits of acid. And that was the night I almost lost. That was that night? That was that night. Ooh. I guess I was depressed. I thought she wanted me. I guess when I kissed her, I was kind of turned her off. (laughs) I thought I was a good kisser. <laughs> Dude, I know what it's like. It, it happens, you know? Shit. Fucking waiting there yeah, at the yeah. fucking hotel after the big block party, all these chicks. And she I'm gonna comes come, with a guy. And she comes with a dude. Oh. oh. That had to be the worst. Right? Well, I mean, it was, I was at, it was two, it was like three in the morning that time. Yeah, but I got you were thinking, you were smelling like a uh, uh, home I, run. I, you know, I, it, 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 uh, of course it would have been nice, but you know, yeah. I can't, uh, I can't control these things. <laughs> what happened? How did she, how did she put, like, how did you find out she was coming over? Uh, she, uh, she came with the, the friend. So, you know, it was. No, more, no, no. But how did it all get set up? Yeah. Uh, we, we've talked, you know, on, on Facebook oh, and stuff. Okay. And, uh, oh, you know, like you've been working her for a while. And I, sudden... I mean, like, hard, you know, the, the dude just talked. And, yeah. uh, you know, she, uh, she, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get into it. But why are you laughing? Nothing happened. That's why he can't. I'm laughing because I relate. I wanted to hear the story. I relate. No story. He laughs during me and when, I, when I'm doing <laughs> stuff. He's always laughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing at me. That's right. No, I'm laughing at because I know the situation. I mean, it's happened to me. <laughs> Things could happen, you know, in the future. But what knows? happened, Howard? So the girl well, came to the show. They had been talking on Facebook or Twitter. Yeah, and then all of a sudden she goes, hey, I'm going to come over to the hotel. And he goes, okay. And then she goes, with my friend, too. And then he's like, well, then he can't say no. Right? I mean, basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens when she gets there? We just sat there and and talked and, uh, you know. You have to sit there and talk, and he's there to make sure that J.D. doesn't put any moves on her. Uh. (laughs) Like, they've worked it all out ahead of time. She's like, he probably wants to get it on with me, so if you just stay there, you'll be my, you know, you'll be my protection. But what's her motivation to go bother J.D.? She can tell old friends she hung out with J.D. from the Howard Stern show Uh. all night, and he was into her. She's fucking playing him. She could be interested, but not, uh, I don't know. Have you talked to her since? I have, I have. Trust me. When chicks used to work their way into Steven Tyler's dressing room, they didn't bring they didn't their friend. They didn't bring your guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's bullshit. There's that, but, you know. Like you just performed on a stage and people were cheering you and all of a sudden this chick shows up with her friend. Okay, where's my sex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. He's waiting for sex. Why is he here? Yeah. And you know if he wasn't there, you would have definitely put the moves on her. I, I would have right, put at least, you know, uh, a move. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, let, let, me, uh, let me sit next to you here. Or right, let me... Let me uh, put my arm around you. Let me uh, kiss you. <laughs> uh, I, uh, whatever. Uh, let me feel you up over your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, whatever. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, that had to be a big. Would you whack one out the night? <laughs> no, she I, probably I, worked I, you up. I, I went right the best. Was she hot, this chick? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then what'd you do? Like, did you keep chasing the dream and start tweeting about her and stuff? No. Good. Don't give her that, <laughs> dude. You should have thrown them both right out of the room. And just said, "Hey, look, man." I'm tired. I'm Somebody tired. Somebody's gonna blow me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of you. I don't care who. Somebody's <laughs> blowing me. Yeah. How long did they stay there? Tell the truth. Over an hour. I. It was. A, it was. A, it was a yeah. lot. It was a little while. Oh my god. And what do you talk? I mean, to I was, those e- two I was about? eating something too. I was. I was hungry. What do you talk to those two about? So do you I think just... Romney will win Michigan? <laughs> <laughs> I talk about the show and stuff and yeah, uh, of the show. What happened? Uh. Yeah. Were you thinking, and I know I've been in J.D.'s situation, are you thinking he might leave at some point? Uh, I didn't think. I, yeah. you, knowing my luck, he wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. I, was I, like, I think I, I hear your car alarm. And like th- the fucking dude's probably sitting there staring at you too, right? Because he's like your J.D. from the Howard Stern show. I, don't know. I wasn't yeah. very staring Is he that. talking too? Of course. We all talk. Uh, yeah. yeah, great. You have to listen to some dude talk in your room. <laughs> Did you ever pull her aside and ask her what's with the dude? No, nah. I, no I know what the deal is. I, no. you know. Fuck it. You should have thrown him right out as soon as she showed up. She said, you know what? Get the fuck out of here. I want to talk to some dude. Unless the dude's going to be blowing me, too. No, that would <laughs> I can just shave if you're going to blow me. Yeah, These chicks, man. She knew what she was doing. That's not nice. She did. She knew I, what she was doing. She's, not, she's fine. Everyone's she's fine. what? She's fine. Oh, yeah. She's great. <laughs> Yeah, you're very happy with the outcome. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Instead of going to sleep, he stayed up all night with this guy in the room. Because <laughs> that's fun. There's no fucking chance. It's like the police are with you. <laughs> want to blow some? Want to blow some coke or some weed and drink and look at look at the police are here. <laughs> you don't do any coke or anything, do you? <laughs> no. Good. Yeah. Please yeah, don't. I have not done any. That drugs. shit is harmful. No drugs. Good. No, for not you. even weed. You don't do weed, right? No. Good. You don't need that. No, I don't. You know, that could tip you right over the edge. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> it did me. Weed was a... Uh, I barely drank. That was it's your gateway, gateway drug. drug. It was. It is a gateway drug. <laughs> I, I tell the kids don't do it. I barely want to drink. I, I never, like, you know, get full on... Who ended the night that night? The chick in the... Like, like, I, I think I said, you know, I, all right, I, gotta, I gotta get the bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like four in the morning. Yeah, right. Oh, this is cool. We're all hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I, I, I gotta go to sleep now. I had to get up and let's travel. Ha- Come on, JD, let's hang out some more. She give you a hug goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yeah fuck, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Big hug. <laughs> hey, okay, cool, JD. Let's be Facebook friends. I'll tell all my friends I know you. Maybe you can introduce me to that guy, Will. <laughs> oh, that happened. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> that's what. That's the best. She'll get her foot in the door, hang out with you. Although Benji never gives up. Maybe you could take yeah, a listen. Yeah, Benji would stay. No, I, yeah, and this yeah. is special coming up on Howard TV. I watched it last night. It's the Benji and his girlfriend, whatever her name is. Oh, Alicia. Alicia. Oh, what is it? Alicia. special with her now? Oh, my God. No. But it's so funny. What is it all about? It's when Benji did that club appearance, and, and, and they have him in the studio writing that song with the girl. And you know how Benji never wants to let anyone in his apartment? Right. Now with the girlfriend? Oh, at our doors cameras. Open. Doors open. <laughs> and, then, and you look at it, and you go, what was the big secret in that apartment? There's nothing going on in there and it's Benji dyeing his beard with a girlfriend uh, it's, I have to admit Benji had my attention he compelled you <laughs> it's a great show it's called uh, Benji and Alicia behind the scenes or something on okay. Howard TV I, and, I, and Doug when's that hit in the air people have to see this and really it's a testament to Benji because he just hung in there with his hot chick but that's Benji's move yeah and he just wear he wears her down to the point and it's so sad it t- sometimes she goes quick put on your hat because he's bald head is no, showing she, she really doesn't care anymore I, I swear. Watch the special. No, no, no. On, I, I'm just as paranoid about it on camera. Yeah. And she, but she goes, get the hat on, get the hat on. <laughs> Go ahead. It's a great special. It starts next week, Howard. Oh, okay. it's fucking brilliant. Uh, Howard TV subscribers will love it. Benji and Alicia. Alisa. 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 Alisa Jordana. Yeah. Alicia Jordana. She's my. Internet sweetheart. Yeah. Online sweetheart. Online sweetheart. 
Oh my god! And they're in the studio, and like she can sing, you know. And right. Benji's such a fucking no talent. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's great. Oh no! And, 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 and that woman's putting a blonde wig on him. Oh, and it's just it's it's really good. She's my share. I'm her fat sunny. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so if you wear that chick down, but I don't know, JD. I don't know if you have the mad skills that Benji has to wear these chicks down. Nor, do you, quite frankly, you have too much dignity, and it's good for you. <laughs> Benji has none. <laughs> it I mean, works. It's obvious. Yeah, I mean, he'll just take any dignity kind of shit. Dignity is a drawback. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can I ask you on the on Facebook? Has a girl indicated that she's attracted to you at all? Uh, any or her? Her. Uh, I mean, she has since. Yeah. Oh, so now she's saying she's attracted to you. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I mean, she she spent that whole time in your fucking room <laughs> with that dude there. Yeah. Now well, she's listen, attracted. She, you know, playing hard to get, I guess. I don't mm. know. <laughs> Great. Did you, did you ever ask her, like, did you say, oh, were you interested that night, or did you never even bring it up? Uh, I, I, it, yeah. I mean, and I asked what her. happened? She just didn't. It would have been too soon or something, you know. Mm. <laughs> what do you want from me, dude? I'm just. I just uh, I know. I'm relating. That's all. <laughs> oh, I hear you. I think of you like a son, <laughs> just trying to help. Uh, Shouldn't laugh. It's, like, it's fucking pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, See, I used to get laid a lot more than you did. Like, but but a lot of times the girls would do it once with me and then they want to leave. So I, I, I got in their pants, and then evidently that was a huge disappointment. But again, you were a kid. Yeah. Yeah, how old are you now? I forget. I am 32 years oh, old. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I was like 16. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're comparing yourself to a 32-year-old Yeah, yeah I didn't lose my virginity until... He, he'd be great with a 16-year-old. Right. <laughs> uh, what? You didn't lose your virginity to win? The, uh, the 25 or whatever. All right. What? Yeah. Yeah. The last night at K-Rock. Wow. Oh, is that when you lost it? Yeah. The last night at K-Rock? Yeah. Oh, Will. No, <laughs> not Will. <laughs> well, they just played it on the satellite years thing. Oh, yeah? yeah. I didn't realize it was I that long. I didn't know that. Yeah. <clears throat> what happened to that chick? She lives out in Vegas. Oh. Was she hot? <laughs> uh, yeah. Was she a stripper girl or? Uh, no, I mean... She was in the sex she industry. Knew, she no, but but she knew like Dennis Hoff and stuff. It's a whole I don't know. Yeah, but no. She, when a girl knows Dennis Hoff, it's well. Are you sure somebody didn't send you a present? No. <laughs> right. No. All right. We'll let you out of here. I got to go do a commercial break anyway. <laughs> All right. All right, man. <laughs> Goodbye. Later. <laughs> Sorry, you and Jason aren't getting along. We're fine. You're fine. Did he say he wanted to leave things the way they were? He yeah, right. You, you like being famous and you like being part of the show on the air, right? Uh, yes. You want, me to, you want me to talk to anyone? Or is anybody no, getting on? No, you? stop. Okay, all right. No. All right. Go ahead. I'll protect you. <laughs> You're fine. All right. But you can't give shit to people either. All right. Well, you got to give it and take it. Right. I know. I know. I, listen, I know the give and take. I know all the right, give and take. All right. I think people are just having fun. Okay. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Love that guy. JD. <laughs> I do. I worry about him. Oh, my goodness. Hey now. Jason. What's up, brother? Your, your list of feuds is, is, <laughs> is ever growing. I know. And now you've added someone like JD who... I'm, I'm having a hard time calling this one a feud, though, because... I'm not angry. Like, there's no fighting. And uh, I don't want to say it's all coming from JD because it's not. But uh, uh, I don't know. I feel weird calling this one a feud. This just feels more like a, uh, a tiff, I guess. A ball busting gone wrong. Yeah, I think things need to clear the air because this wasn't over, like, one thing. I mean, I know JD's harping on the tweet thing. And maybe that really did. Maybe that was way over the line. And I sincerely do apologize to him if it was. But, um, but I feel this has been a long time coming. And... Uh, you know, I've said this to him before off air many times. I'm like, Jenny, I, I just don't think you like me. Like, and you can tell me if you don't like me. I can stop wasting my time trying to be your friend. And uh, he's like, no, no, I love you, I love you. So, uh, I don't know, man. But I guess this is a few. Although there was no yelling or arguing, as far as I could tell. No raised voices. I don't know. You guys put it in whatever category you want to put it in. D Jason, he, he'll get right to, like, your Achilles heel or whatever. And... Uh, you know, and and it's not always his first idea. You know, it's not always his first idea to do it. You know what I mean? Like it's just 
someone someone down here, you know, someone starts over here, and then you got someone else over here. It's like, oh, oh, oh. what do you want from me? I know this was mostly gradual, the way your relationship has sort of uh, devolved over the years. Was there one specific moment, though, where it began to turn that you remember that you maybe piled on at the wrong time and JD got even more angry than you remember? Mm, I remember when it really hit me that I didn't think JD liked me, um, which was there was one time uh, last year, a year or two ago in the studio, and I, I thought about this on the wrap up show, and I don't, it was during the commercial break, and everyone's just blah, 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 busting balls, whatever, and then I said something. And JD fucking just super angry, storms out of the studio, it's like all mad at me in the hall. And I went on talking, dude, what the fuck? Like, what, what did I do? What did I say that was so crazy wrong? And that's when it really hit me. It's just like, you know what? This is my, at this, fall, at this point, it's my problem. Maybe he just doesn't like me. And which, if he doesn't like me, it means I can't bust around with him the way I would with you or my other friends, you know? And, uh, and that's fine. A lot was made about, you said, the, the good at far outweighs the bad in, in this situation with, with work and with being involved with the Howard Stern Show. Yes. What has all this ball busting taught you over the years? Has it made you stronger? Uh, it's taught me that That's I mean, I, like, I've always had a thick skin, um, but you know, and this just, this just builds it more and more, you know what I mean? Um, I, I mean, and it's not just, you know, being around here, you know, people on Twitter and people out in the street. I was at, I was at a comedy show and getting insulted by someone. You know, it's like they, they feel they can fuck with you too. Um, so you know, you just gotta you just gotta deal with it, I guess. In turn, has that completely desensitized you to to positive feedback, to positive relationships, to to good vibes? Possibly, <laughs> possibly. Shirley always says I can't take a compliment, so and it's it's probably true. What will you do to work on this to grow and evolve as a person? Know. I don't know. I just want to do my job right now. <laughs> Can I go, please?